Right. Right. Is that, can you hear me now? If anyone's here, let me know if you can hear me. That would be super. And notice this microphone is working. That would be wonderful. If you could. Right, so. What we have got here, very kindly sent on to me by Mr. Mick Blizzard. Um, thank you very much, Mick. It's much appreciated. He, uh, he clearly thought I was struggling too much with the last videos. I <laughs> the dovetailing. And uh, this was the saw that I used. Um, and this is the one that I did the sharpening on, which I thought turned out to be pretty good. Um, but he sent me one of these puppies from Suzanne. Now, the reason I wanted to try one of these, S-U-I-Z-A-N. I think it's Suzanne. Um, sweet, sweet, I don't know how you say it. If anyone knows, please do tell me. But yeah, this is a proper dovetail saw. It's got the spine on it. It's got all the protective packaging on it. I've not unboxed it yet. It's even got stuff all over the handle. So we're gonna unbox it and we're gonna compare it to the one that I sharpened the other day and we'll find out if it's any good. And that is what we are hoping to achieve. Now, hopefully it will be because Japanese steel, all that nonsense, um, they get a lot of love online. I think Jonathan Katz Moses, if anyone's there, can you tell me if this microphone is working? Please, let me just check. It should be working. It should be working. By the way, I just I just had the scare of my life. I walked past my sort of inside the workshop wood store and just a metric crap ton of, of what I thought were wasps, but turned out just to be hard, um, flies, all came shooting out of it with the with a great rate of knots. Um, much like Ace Ventura when he's in the cave with bats, I nearly came out running because they're all like that. Anyway. Um, yes, and this also is continuing the series of doing live unboxing so you can see if they're any good or not. I just unboxed a walking cane, walking stick, which was glorious. And I don't think I was enthousi as enthusiastic as I would have liked to have been, purely because I was a little bit dumbstruck that not only was it that beautiful, but also um, it, was, it, it was something that, uh, that Simon gave to me, which I thought was lovely. Let me just make sure that I've got live chat. Simon Stevens commented, last my ass off, American Black Walnut and Paduke. Yes, absolutely. Right, so we should have chat going now. So yeah, if you can tell me if that works, I'd very much appreciate it. Right, let's have a little look. I'm gonna try and take this. We've got this stuff going on on the, uh, on the handle. I mean, I'm assuming this has to come off. Wouldn't be there otherwise, would it? So yeah, Jonathan Katz Moses sells this sweet Zern stuff on his website of tools. And um, I've been following them on Instagram for a long, long time. And they're, they're supposed to be very, very good. Um, I will do a close up with the, on the camera in a second. But let's just take these things apart. Oh, it's very well wrapped. We've got this kind of nonsense going on here. This is a, my eye mask is in something like this. Shh, don't tell anyone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How does this come off? It's a bag. It's a bag, Dean. It's not hard. It's not difficult. Ooh, hey, hey. That could have cut the old fingies off. Oh, look at that. See that? Right, you can change these blades out as well. I know that. Let's just have a quick little look in the thing. And I'll let you know if there's anything else going on as well. Got a sticker. Got a sticker from a sticker wall. That's going to go up there. Uh, right. I'll just show you this, shall I? Have we only got one person watching now? Oh, well. Right. That's what that says. If you're interested in having a read, you can do. There's that. And this is the saw. Lovely. So I guess we just have to undo that and that will release the blade if we want to change it out. Marvellous. Right, let's give it a go and see what it's like to get sawing with, shall we? 
Uh, uh, no one's let me know if the uh, if the sound is working, so I hope it is. Right. Now this is the the wood that I use for the uh, for the for the dovetails. Although because it was part of cabinets and what have you, um, this is uh, this has got this kind of finished stuff on it. So just to let you know, what I do for that, I've got a quick release clamp. Hold on. Up. We get that in the vise. Excuse you. And then get upright. Get a number five plane because I love it. And then take it down. We'll get there in the end. Oh, too much, too much, Dean. Calm down. Touch more. I think that's going against the grain as well. That's not good. bent it in the vice. I might have done. This will be relevant to the saw again, I promise. Things never go smoothly when you're uh, when you're trying to do them on camera. Maybe I should have used number four to be fair. It's a small bit of wood for a very large plane. Cumin. Cumin. Where are we? It's my blade straight. Do 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 do. We are gonna see this in a second, I promise. Will it be worth it? Couldn't tell you. Right, that's certainly straight. That was the problem. Right. It's just taking some of the finish off. Ah! It's just to show you that this stuff is what I've been using on my dovetails. Still on day two, so we've got to do day three ASAP. Um, but I, uh, I was helping somebody out yesterday who is selling a bunch of tools. So if you are, uh, if you're in Norwich, Norfolk, or in the Norfolk area, um, I'm offloading some some tools for a very nice person, and. Uh, let me know. We've got a bandsaw, we've got, we've got a table saw, we've got a thickness planer, got all sorts of cool things. Anyway, let me know. Right, so this is the one that I sharpened live the other day and let's, uh, let's give it a go. Right. Da, 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 da. So that was that cut. You see that puppy? Dingo, would it work? How you doing, buddy? Um, so yeah, that's that. Right now, let's see what the uh, what the Japanese saw is on saw is like. Now obviously it's a pull saw and I did say that I prefer a pull saw. Okay, let's have a go. <laughs> well that's effortless then. <laughs> um, <laughs> so if it's relevant I mean I cut it straighter than this that one goes off on the on the woof 
um, I cut it straighter, I cut it quicker. So yeah, there is a uh, there is an argument to be said about these Japanese saws. Yeah, I'm into it. Apologies if you can hear the uh, the chainsaw going on next door. I'll do one more cut and then we'll finish up. Oh dear, well that's, I mean, you know, even when it comes to blowout and all that sort of stuff, there's really not much going on there. Watch your fingers there, Dino, yeah. That is a lot easier than the one that I, might be, I might have sharpened it incorrectly, but this, I am all over it. So, yep, I'm now a, uh, a lover of these saws. I will, uh, I guess I'll find up a, an Amazon thingy link. And um, I'm waiting in the description because it doesn't cost you any more, but it helps the channel. But yes, thank you, Mick, for sending me this saw. That has done an amazing job. This is nice and light handle as well. There is, how are we when it comes to balance? Yeah, I mean, it's right in that sweet spot right there. Look at that, look. What? Um, a great saw. I'm into it. I'll put a link down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Let me know if you like these live unboxings because they're going to be a thing.